chocolate. So I have milk chocolate. Just pour this in a bowl. Hello, my name is Julian Rose, master chocolatier here at Moonstruck Chocolate. And today I'll be showing you how to make our famous lemon ganache, which we use for our lemon clownfish. Let's get started. So our lemon ganache is made up of basically just over half a dozen ingredients, where we have heavy cream, citric acid, fresh, pure lemon oil. We have yellow color, natural yellow color, tiny bit of invert sugar and corn syrup. So I just need to warm up my cream. So pour this in a pot. And again, a ganache is just simply a, a blend of liquids and chocolate. So in this case, we have cream, could have been coffee, could have been tea, but for our lemon ganache, it's much better to have something quite neutral. So cream is ideal. So I have my cream pour my invert sugar. And invert sugar is basically very, very close to honey in structure, but it's actually simply sugar with a tiny bit of acid, which renders it um, into a syrup. Added my corn syrup. I'll add my yellow color. So this is a natural yellow, natural color. And as for the citric acid and lemon oil, they'll only be added after pouring the cream on the chocolate. We don't want to curdle our cream. So our liquids are warm. Cream, invert sugar, corn syrup. That's steeping. And on this side, the second part, I have white chocolate and an extra dose of cocoa butter for extra richness. So I'm just going to pour my white chocolate in a large bowl. So tons of white chocolate. The white chocolate will actually complement and not compete with the lemon oil. Extra cocoa butter. And cocoa butter is really a natural oil of cocoa. It just happens to be a hard oil at room temperature and liquid, of course, when heated up. I'll take the temperature of my liquids so this is a laser thermometer, and it visually takes a reading of temperature. So almost there. And the reason why I take the temperature of these liquids is simply not to go overboard and to have a good emulsion. That's perfect. So now I'll pour this now yellow cream over the chocolate. And again, just let it steep a few minutes. And this is where I can add now my lemon oil and a tiny bit of citric acid to add that extra zing. Let's start mixing. So small, tight circles. Can't be in a hurry just have to do things right. And this is where really the artisan comes out. Um, it's not about mass production. It's not about doing tons at a time. It's making small batches and controlling every step of it. You just need to mix this ganache a bit more and you can literally see it come together in front of your eyes. As it is getting shinier and shinier, that's where the emulsion is getting tighter and tighter. All the ingredients have been blended and the smell is wonderful. Here we go. See, very shiny, nice and not separated. Almost looks like a lemon curd and that's really a sign of a well-made ganache. 